I got into rugby uh, a little bit later in my life. I was a basketball player um, through college. I got to train with the national team um, back in 2018, the training squad. Last year I was fortunate to be uh, one of the first ones to launch this new cool PR7s league. And so every summer we look forward to playing around the U.S. and usually we, have to, we go internationally to play. And so to play in front of our friends and our country is such a cool experience and it's something that we look forward to um, every year. Last year I, I broke my leg um, and my ankle. I love Kelter grabs the back of the shorts, then she grabs the ball. It looks like there is an injury. And so I'm about nine months out of that surgery, and so this is the first tournament that I can actually come and play. And it's the first time that I can kind of debut myself after post-injury. And that injury was really a really, really challenging one because I kind of had to learn how to use my body again, how to walk, how to do the most simplest things, and then to get to a place where I can play on this on a rugby field, tackling each other, running, has been a really, really big journey. And so this tournament means a lot to me. And um, just giving me, um, proving to myself that I'm, uh, I'm myself again. <laughs> yeah. I think um, anyone that's have, had an injury, um, you get a little scared, but it's overcoming that fear that's such, such a great feeling. And so it's really, really nice to be in this environment where you have such great teammates and the excitement and people who love rugby and playing with all these new girls. It's such a fun experience to kind of get you out of your head and get out of, you out of being scared and really fall in love with the sport again. I think to push through the nerves, I uh, rely a lot on the people around me and just kind of bring myself back to where I am and um, appreciating where we're at, playing in these stadiums, playing a sport that you really, really love doing, having your friends and family there and people that, that love rugby, just really kind of opening your eyes and appreciating where you're at. Your team becomes a family and it's the people that support you and the people that help you through it, who push you, who get you out of your comfort zone, get you out of your nerves, get you out of the things that um, you're going through and playing rugby is very it's a high adrenaline fun connected sport you're you're such in tune with people the, the six people around you and it's a high that you can't get anywhere else something i'd tell somebody coming out of an injury that maybe feels nervous or scared and just really remember why you love what you're doing and then i think just have have love and grace for your body um, you know especially as an athlete your body becomes a big part of who you are and um, your connection to it's really, really important. And so giving it a little bit of grace and taking care of it, I think is just one of the most important parts, physically and I think mentally as well. Going through this injury, um, learned a lot about myself. And I thought I already knew a lot about myself and then you go through something big and um, you kind of figure out um, a lot of other things. And I think one of the main things is what really helps you get back to doing what you love is you have to be the one to want it the most. Um, it can't be your parents or your sister or your coach or your teammate. It's like you have to be the one that wants to be there. And also it's that self-love. I think a lot of times, especially if you're an athlete and you get knocked down where you can't even walk and you can't, you know, do the things that you could do of, you get mad at it a little bit. You get mad and you say, why can't you do this? You know what? And it's, it's not transitioning into finding that grace and appreciation for what your body's doing for you. Then knowing also that there's a lot of people that have been through what you've been through and had their own journeys, whether an injury or not. And it's really, really important to trust them, talk to them, have them tell you about your, their experience because you can really, really learn a lot when you're in those times of adversity of helping you to get through that and know that you're not alone. It's normal what you're going through and um, that it helps to give you a little extra boost to get, to get through the, the hard times. When I got my injury, it, it, I just had my 30th birthday. So I think it was a pretty severe injury to my leg and I knew that it'd be a really, really tough road to get back. And I didn't know how my body would respond even if I did want to get back. And it was very much every day, is this the end of my career? You know, is, am I gonna be able to run? Am I, like, the way that I could run? And being a little bit older, I, I, and it was a day-to-day, -day, I guess, challenge to get over that feeling of being scared of, of, of not knowing if my career is over or not, and which makes this all the more special for me and um, proving not only to the world but to myself that you know I can do that, and this is not over unless I choose that it's over. And it was been a lot, very challenging. <laughs> and it's daily, and it's a daily thing. But I think that if you want to do something, then. It might look a little bit different than what you want it to be, but as long as you want to do it, you can, you can, you can, you can do it. This league is so special to me for a lot of reasons. Uh, the first year it was launched last year. I, they they launched it on the equal platform for men and women, 
and that's something I had never seen ever in sport and you know usually sports are uh, started with a lot of inequality and then the, the women's side has to catch up and I think that it was such a cool thing for rugby just to launch an equal platform and send a message that um, you know women are equal in sport. The way that PR7s is doing it and you watch the, you watch the tournaments, it's a men's game, it's a women's game and that to me is such an awesome message to send.